hello everyone welcome back to my channel i want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers so please if you have not subscribed to this channel please join the family subscribe press the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video like and share this video so in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this lovely ashoki fascinator very lovely with rose stay tuned and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much let's get started so this is the fabric i'll be using for the rose what i have here is 12.5 as you can see 12.5 this is for the rose and this is the main fabric for the fascinator what i have here is 60 inches so the the full width of the ashoki is 60 inches by the normal length of ashoki that means 60 by 6.5 6.5 by 60 this particular one there's no measurement this is what i'll be using to cover up the alice band so this is my alice band as you can see this is the wide one then i have my bony you can get you can get this bony where they said tailory material they have we have two type of bony this is the sewable bony the one you can sew through and we have the plastic bony anyone you you can find go ahead and use it and you can get this where they say tailory material it's called bony so let's get started so the first thing I'll be doing is to cover up this Alice band. So I'll fold the Ashoka into two, like this. Then I'll turn this, this folded part, I'll place it here, like this. Then I'll start folding. At this point, if you want to use glue, you can use glue at the back, but I'm not using glue. I'll just fold it, ensure that it's tight. Ensure that it's tight. So now I will just continue folding. So this is what we have. Then I'll fold it inward like this. I'll fold it like this. So this is how I'll fold it. Then I'll use my needle and thread to sew it down. I'll use my needle and thread. At this point, if you want to use your glue, you can go ahead and use your glue. But I'll be using my needle and thread to sew it down. Then I'll sew it down. You can use glue if you want to use glue you can go ahead and use your glue but i really do not want to use glue for this project so i'll be using my needle and thread to pack it down the thread i'm using is the thread from the ashoki so that's what i'm using tack it down you can see i'm also tacking this part to make it relax and make it neat you can see it to get at this thread, as you can see, so you, you have to lose out some thread from your Ashoki fabric like this. You can see it. Just lose a little out of it, and you can use it. You and you can use it for your project. Just, so the next thing we are going to be working on is this particular Ashoki fabric. So this is the 60 inches. So this is the 60 inches Ashoki. So the next thing we are going to do now is to fold. We are going to fold this part like this. We fold it like this. Then we'll do the same thing for the other side. Then after that, we are going to fold it this way. You fold it like this, like fold it like half an inch. Fold it in a way that this your bony can pass through it. You can see you fold it in a way that this bony can pass through it. So that's how you are going to fold it. All the way down so as you can see I'm done sewing as you can see this part I seal up this part so this part is open so this will be fixing my bony so for the bony measure out the bony that will fit into the ashoki so that's how you just take the measurement of the bony that will fit into the ashoki so this is what we have so the next thing we are going to do is to fix it inside this ashoki so so you place it like this, you can see, you 
you continue to move it till you get to the other side so i'll do it now and show you so so i'm done fixing it as you can see so i will reduce this part so i'll shift it inside i'll cut some part off so i'll cut it off so that i can be able to i'll cut it off so that i can be able to fold the other part so i'll seal up this part like this i'll seal it up so now i've sealed it up as you can see so the next thing you take your needle and thread then we are going to be forming gathers on this part like this so we'll continue to form the gathers like this So, so this is what we have after drawing the gathers. So at this point, you have to arrange it. You can, you can. So you see, you can manipulate the whole thing. You can see. So I'll be bringing the whole, the part that we gathered. I'll bring everything to the back like this. So you can see. So this is the part that we gathered. So now I'll use the same thread and needle, then sew it back. I'll sew it back in order for me to secure it tight. I don't want it to get I don't want it to lose. So I'll sew it back like this. The same needle and thread. Then I'll sew it back to secure it. So this is what we have. As you can see, you can arrange it anyhow you want it. So you can see that that bony helps the ashoke to move round can see you can arrange it anyhow you want to arrange it like this anyhow you want to arrange it as you can see my needle and thread is still here so i'll get my harley's band at this point if you want to use glue you can use glue but i'll be using my needle and thread so as you can see this is the middle so this is the middle of the band I don't want to place my at the middle. I want to go to the side. So I'll be bringing it down to the side. So I feel the side will be finer. So instead of placing it at the middle, I'll shift down to the side. So at this point, you have to be creative with what you want. So I'll use my needle and thread. So I'll use my needle and thread to start stitching it down. You can see I'll take my time to sew it down you bring it down like this so you'll be sewing it gently connect it with the ashoke as you can see you take the ashoke from the band as you can see so that is how you'll be sewing it down at this point, you'll be arranging it. Place it like this. Then take from the ashoke from the band. So that's what we are going to be doing. As you can see, it's coming out. So we sew it round. If you want to sew it straight, as you can see, you can sew it straight down like this. If you want to sew it round, you can also sew it round. So at this point, is your creativity that matters. So just I will continue to sew. At this point, you can also use your glue. At this point, you can use your glue, but I don't want to use my glue. I don't want to use my glue, so I want to use my needle and thread to tack it down. So that's what I'll be doing. So after sewing, this is what I have. At this point, you are the one that will twist it to what to what you want. You can see anyhow you want to twist it, you just go ahead and twist it. If you want it to go this way, you can see to stay on. Immediately you twist it. You can see it stay the way it's supposed to be. As you can see, you can twist it down. You can twist this other part. You can use your needle and try to stick it down. Just be creative with your design. Just do whatever whatever style you want. 
so you can see so now this part I, have, I want to sew it down like this you can see these two open parts i'll sew it down so at this point anything any design in your mind you can just twist it to create that particular design so i'll place this and i'll just sew So this is what I have, as you can see, so I'll keep this aside. So this is the fabric I'll be using for the, to form the rows. As you can see, I've already folded the edge. As you can see, I've folded the edge. So after folding, I have 10.5. So the next thing we are going to do now is to fold like this. Just watch me fold it like this. You can see? I'll place it like this, then I'll continue to fold like this, like this, as if you're creating a pleat. So this is what I have. So this is what I have after folding. So the next thing I'll do, I'll take this part, then I'll fold it in like this. I'll take this part and fold it in. So I'll use my needle and try to secure it. I've sewn this part down. So I'll, so I'll fold it again. Like this. You can see. I folded it. Like this. Then I'll take this part. Then I'll take this part. And fold it a little bit. You can see a little bit to the back. I took I took this part and folded it a little like this. So I'll use my needle and try to secure it down. So this is what we have after the folding. You can see it's very small because the fabric we use is not much. You can see it's very small. So if you want it bigger than this for it to go around more, you have to increase. You have to increase the measurement of your fabric. Then I'll move this foam back a little. So this is what we have. So this part now, I'll move it back. Then I'll just use my needle and thread to tack it down on this part. So at this point, you place the rows at the middle of the fascinator, as you can see. You place it like this, then use your needle and thread to sew it down. Make sure you cover the rough part of the fascinator. So as you can see, I'm done sewing. You can see this is the rows at the middle. This is the back. This is it. As you can see, make sure you use a machine thread. So I'll wear it for you guys to see. Okay, when you want it, you can twist it to the side. You can twist it like this. You can see, twist it like this and pin it down. Can you see it? You can pin it down this way. You can decide to twist this part down like this. So you can work, you can pin this like this also. As you can see, you can pin it this way. So it has different sides to it. See, you can pin it down this way. Yes. 